So we'll keep this one short and sweet. You know, the PSAs for all the cool stuff unboxing. Well, it's the holidays. Go hang out with some family. Go do the analog world thing and get away from things and enjoy the family you have. So let's get to it. So I saw this cruise in Reddit and knew I had to snag one just due to the cost really of how cheap they were at the time and um, how cool they were. So this is a BS3. And if you're not familiar with it, yeah, it's an espressive chip. I'll get the crinkling noises out the way. They're gonna not solder these on there for you. So that is pretty cool and stuff. You know, especially if you didn't want to do it in your particular project and then they were stuck and you're trying to remove them. Yeah, I've been there with no MCUs. But here's the bad boy. And yeah, we'll zoom in because it's really that small. So I'll put all the specs over here, Travis, on the side as you run your mouth. But you can see it's pretty much like a Node MCU, kind of. But the big kicker, if you did not notice, it is an ESP32 S3 Mini. The S3 is pretty powerful chip. It does include Bluetooth. And it has some low power, like battery style features. I know like you can see that they've included this connector over here. And the buttons are pretty simple, boot, reset, etc. They got all the pins labeled. They do label them there as well. Put the little cool different logo on the back. And then one of my favorite parts is, yep, yeah, USB-C. Finally seen it on many more devices. I gotta zoom out for this bad boy. And uh, yeah. So Sunsa, I know you want to say, well, Sunsa something else. Yeah, that's not probably the name they wanted me to come up with, but um, whatever. So they did reach out to me after they saw I did that switch by blind tilt thing. And I will say I have not looked at these except for what they had on their website. It did look a little bit easier to install. I will say these are Wi-Fi based instead of Bluetooth from what I read. And so I immediately asked because I did turn it down at first and say, no, I'm probably not something I want to review. And it did say they were going to do a local. Now, of course, that's always soon or coming is a particular, you know, integration into Home Assistant to do, you know, one to make it local. So this replaces the wand like, you know, on your blind instead of attaching to it and trying to turn the existing one. And then I guess there's something that locks. Yeah, the little pieces that stick and lock that way it gives it something to turn against. What else they have in here? Kind of goodies. Oh, it uses double A. Looks like they have two. Okay. And, oh, double A. So we're doing four double A. And then some more pieces to do the install. So mainly it looks like the bulk. Nothing else is there. Looks like the bulk of, is this going to be as the wand does all the magic. Yep. So I'll check it out on the little blinds I had put outside. Um, here's the, if you didn't see, the FCC ID. I know some people like to see, and there's my Mac ID, but there's the FCC ID. So you can go look up all the things. So we'll look into doing something in the future, possibly with this. I did get a four pack and I have no use for a four pack. And um, yeah, I even told him that, hey, if we got, I'll do one, to, one or two to review it or whatever. And um, probably the rest of them or whatnot, I'll give away on Discord. So uh, keep a lookout for that. So this next one. Yeah, it's already unboxed. Sorry about that. I wanted to, I thought it was going to be crap. And surprisingly, it's not. And... Let me find the other piece. So this is the main bulk of it. 
is there's this remote and I didn't use much of it except the up and down and the zoom stuff, but maybe we'll show some of this stuff in the future that the look of it, but it's by Rockware. It's a PTZ camera for like doing live streams or, or, or zoom or whatever it may be. And that's, quality with just me looking at it in OBS and stuff was not half bad. I will say the only thing I wish it would be able to do is maybe record to SD card or have HDMI out. So, cause I've got a card that I can put like four HDMI inputs and such and record things that does make it a little more difficult just being USB. So yeah, it has that older style USB port. And they do give you this, you know, of course, this power supply, the USB. And then it had, I don't know if it was trying to do double power, but I, maybe you can just do it off of, I've seen those on these old hard, those old hard drives, they had those double cords. It's been a while, but I guess they're trying to get two power sources and spread it out. But why you have this and maybe I should look in the manual. Ah, so there... It is right there. It's, it supports two power supply methods, either using USB or the 12 volt. So um, maybe we'll do something with it on a video potentially and show some of the stuff. Maybe I'll show a clip right here. So um, I don't know. We'll see how that works out. And there's four. And say what the hell is this i mean it kind of has like a i don't know some sort of star wars type thing to it but this is a four pack of the brand as i'll let you be the judge here's the brand now this one's a little different switch but you can see the brand there we call it something different on discord if you may not be aware of the little subtle hint there. So this is the cool thing about this is this, these are currently still ESP based, meaning you can put Tasmoda or ESP home on them. They are Decora and meaning you'll fit in your standard, you know, wall socket boxes, whatever you want to call them. And they have a very cool part to it right here. If you want to zoom in, and enhance is these are a metal case very good plus to that but guess what this is a pir sensor so you got a motion sensor there's an led little strip here that does I think blue and then a green when the relay is on i believe and then there's this one big button behind here is also a light sensor now, unfortunately, it's not going to, you can't tell exactly the light level. It's more of like, is it dark or is it light? But you can use them in ESP Home, Tasmoda. I have all the things on my website. They are ESP based. And the awesome part is they're stupid, simple to flash. No soldering. You just need to take the four screws out. And it looks like this one here, one I have already apart, the magic of television. Now this one is a little different model. This is the two button model, but they're all still ESP based. And the cool thing is if you look right is you've got places to put in DuPont jumpers and you can flash the ESP chip on it and put your favorite open source project on it. Because guess what? I don't know if y'all remember all the hubbub about some other YouTube channel that, um, yeah, they had a complaint about the PIR and their crazy expensive switches. Well, these are stupid cheap. And guess what? We can do what we want to because we put open source software on them. Pretty slick. And they're stupid simple to put your open source software. But if you're really that lazy or we're not say lazy, but cloud free has this switch as well. As you can see here at cloudfree.shop. And it's pre-flashed with Tasmoda, 
but you can still put ESP Home on it as well, and then you don't have to open the device at all. How slick is that? So if you're interested in um, taking things into your own hands and doing your own ESP based switches and jumping into things, this is really a good deal to jump into and get your feet wet if you haven't before because it's a pretty decent little thing now i will say the only thing about we did find on discord is i did find we had to shave down just with some sandpaper pull this plastic piece out it's really simple to do because sometimes the button would bind and it wouldn't spring back but that only happens on the two button model and it does have two relays as well so pretty cool all in one decor and as always, I appreciate all you watching, all the cool stuff for all this year and the weird stuff. And yeah, we'll definitely try to bring you some even weirder stuff as we go. So thanks to all the Patreon members, YouTube members, definitely couldn't do it without you. Press subscribe, bell icon, do all those things down there that they love you to do. And y'all take care.